Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and in this quick movie tutorial I'm going to create an import preset. Okay, this will ensure fast and efficient Lightroom workflows. We'll get the ball rolling by clicking on the import button here in the corner of the library module. Okay, now I have a, an SD card connected uh, to my computer so already we can see uh, these thumbnails of images that we can import. Now my workflow will be as follows. I'm coming from my SD card. I'm choosing to copy as DNG. Some people who prefer to keep the files in their native RAW file format will alternatively choose copy instead. Copy as DNG is a little bit superior because it is um, uh, another way of speeding up Lightroom. Now uh, I'm not going to import these images to my hard drive which is the default. Um, if it's a laptop this will be full in next to no time. So I'm going to choose an external drive that I have connected. So I'm going to click on other destination. And then um, in my finder window, I'll find the mirrored RAID that I've got connected. This is uh, one of the Lassie um, mirrored RAIDs. That's uh, the portable uh, rugged RAID. And I'll choose that. Okay, so um, let's go open these um, uh, panels one at a time. File handling, build standard size previews. If in your um, catalog preferences you've got that set to auto, it's going to build previews that will fill your screen, whatever size that is. Now, if you're uh, in the habit of not um, deleting or reformatting your memory card when you put it back in the camera, this is a very good option to choose. Don't import suspect suspected duplicates. Now because I'm um, uh, copying to a mirrored RAID I've effectively got um, a backup on that same device should one of the drives fail. If you want to make a backup at the time of import then I would recommend that you click on this second option and then choose a second external drive to make those backups. Now if you're choosing the copy as DNG option you will get a second copy in the native RAW file format of the camera you're using and so you get uh, the best of both worlds. Okay I'll just uh, unselect that because of the mirrored RAID. We're going to come down to file renaming we are going to choose to rename files. This is important because as your camera goes around the clock and starts at number one again, you can't have two files with the same number in your catalog. So from the template, we're going to choose um, date and file name. This will ensure that even though the file number might be the same, we'll get a different date in between each of those um, images. Okay, we'll come down to um, uh, destination first. I'm just skipping one. I'll come back to apply during import last. Okay, so we're going to uh, organize by date and the date format is going to be this second one down. This 2017 means that it will create a folder of the year date, whatever year that is, and then that forward slash indicates a subfolder being cr um, created for the date of the image capture. Okay, so we can see it's going to the mirrored RAID and if I just open that you'll see that it's actually creating that 2017 folder or it's looking for that 2017 folder. Okay, I'll just uh, collapse both of these. Finally, we're coming up to the last one which is apply during import. Now I'm going to make sure my copyright is embedded in all of these files as I import. So I'm going to pick up my Mark Gaylor metadata preset there. Now in another movie I actually show you how to create these copyright presets. And if you uh, follow the movie you'll just click on the new button. Here I'll just select my preset. There's one panel left which is the keywords but before we do that we're going to create the import preset. So um, we're going to save current settings as new preset and we'll call this external drive. Okay and I'll hit create. Okay, so next time I come to import new images, I won't need to worry about any of these settings. I'll just select my import preset as the external drive and then I'll add some keyword. And uh, I'm going to add the word St Kilda and a little comma there. And we'll have dogs and we'll have beach 
and we may even have play. Okay, so just three or four keywords describing your images will help you locate these images uh, later. And that's basically it. We have the import preset now. So if I hit import, we will start importing those files. And remember, I won't have to worry about any of those settings again. Every time that external drive is connected, uh, I can choose that external drive preset and uh, those files will come in um, in um, a fast, efficient workflow. Okay, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and I'll join you online next time.